to another crack and packs video i am your host mr rivers today we've got another core set 2019 pre-release kit that we're gonna crack open and we're gonna build a little deck out of it so let's see what we can find we've had a couple okay pools we've had a couple other pools that were not so great so let's see if this one's any better for us got a black die that time nice Always nice to get different colors, that's for sure. Got our promo card here. Always walk, We always look at our promo card last, so we're going to put it over there. We're going to get right into things. We're going to get right into things here. Let's uh, put these here, I guess. Go. Is this in shot? It is, okay. White, blue, black, red, green. Take Vengeance, very good. Red's not looking terrible either. A nice little multicolor poison tip archer. And our first rare is a mist color, which is kind of got a nice got a nice white green fixing land. We gotta take vengeance from white, which is not bad. We got electrify from red, which is not bad. I think our black is pretty good too. Child of Night and Skeleton Archer. Gear Per Guide is very good. Titanic Growth is good. Poison Tip Archer is good. I'd say like probably the weakest tier is blue so far, but blue's not even that bad because uh, if we were going to be blue control, we have got a Wall of Mist and a Cancel, which is already pretty good on point for that sort of stuff. Revitalize, Uncomfortable Chill... Okay, Oaken Form, not bad. Doom Decentor, okay, yeah. Heroic Reinforcements is a very good card in the right deck. Okay, we've got an Isareth. She's very good in limited. 3-3 three, three Death Touch for 3 is already very good. Swinging in with her and paying mana to basically bring back something from your graveyard. Very good. We're going to start compiling these so that we can start uh, not losing too much space. This guy's very good in green. That's very good in red. Johnny's Pride Mate, if we had the life gain, uh, would be very good to play for sure sleep also very good mentor of the meek not a bad little rare not bad a little rare i don't know what i'm moving towards at the moment with this pile um like i mean i'm tempted to play white with the with the mentor of the meek and white black with the isareth but like I don't think there's enough there at the moment. In black, maybe. In white, not so much. A Brawl Bash Ogre. And we got a Demanding Dragon. Very good card. 5-5 five, five Flyer for 5. Definitely very good in Limited. I should be putting it down here with the rares, right? Okay. Bite, very good. Okay, Manolith, a nice fixing. We've only gotten one uh, tap land. Fountain of Renewal. Leonin Vanguard, okay. Plague Mare, all right. Liliana's Contract, okay. We got a Nikki, Nikki B token and a soldier. Let's see. What else can we find?
Dragon's Horde, another fixing. Basically just better than Manolith, in my opinion. And we got a foil Highland Lake. Alright. And what's our promo card? A promo Sun Cleanser. That's not really anything worth. Sun Cleanser gets in the way of a lot of things. Absolutely. So let's see. Playable. 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 Uh, Mighty Leap is a fine trick. I don't know. I, I would probably play it. I don't really like Revitalize. Johnny's Pride Mate is fine. Knight's Pledge is also fine. The Take Vengeance for sure. So the, the question here is, do we play the uh, the Falcons? The Falcons are 1-2 for 1, which is not bad. But things with like the Dwarven Priest, it's very good. Um, so like our White's not terrible, especially with Mentor of the Meek. Because like if you look at what we have here... Triggers Mentor, Triggers Mentor, Triggers Mentor, Triggers Mentor, Triggers Mentor, Triggers Mentor. So we have what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six Triggers for Mentor just from white. Uh, Salvager of Secrets is not bad. Cancel is good. Ghost Form is okay. I probably wouldn't play it. Um, Wall of Mist is fine if you're playing the like control um, we don't really have a lot of control, to be honest. Because all we have here is... So, Scholar of the Stars is fine if you're playing Artifacts. Bone to Ash is a fine counterspell if you're if you're stuck for it. Uncomfortable Chill um, can mess up your opponent. Sleep is very good. Bone to Ash again. Anticipate is fine. Surge Mare is fine. Another Wall of Mist, another Cancel. Like So, we have two Cancels and we have two uh, Bone to Ash. So that's like our control in, we did have two Bone to Ash, right? Yeah, two Bone to Ash. So we, that's like our control in blue is two cancels and two Bone to Ash, right? As well as a couple, like we have sleep and we have uh, two uncomfortable chills, right? But like, let's look at our creature count. One, it's a wall. Two, three is another wall. Four, which is a two, two for five. Five creatures? Is that put as a five? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five creatures in blue. Five creatures in blue. So blue is definitely not something we're going to be looking to play, probably. Um, unless we can find some heavy support for it. <clears throat> now, I believe in black, we didn't really have any removal. Plague Mare? Very, very good. This card is very good. A two, two for three that can't be blocked by white creatures, but it also gives... All creatures your opponents control, negative one, negative one, until end of turn when it comes in. It gets rid of a lot of things. There are a lot of X ones in this format, especially things that make tokens. Um, I don't really like the Infectious Horror. It's okay if you're in the right aggro deck. I don't really like it. So, Sky Marcher, Plague Mare, Epicure, Abnormal is fine. Duress, one Duress is probably fine. I'm not sure if I'd play a Mind Rot or a Bog Stomper. Hired Blade, maybe. Another Sky March for sure. Another Doom Dissenter for sure. Skeleton Archer for sure. And Child of Night for sure. So, like, I think if we had a Neonate, we would be looking at White Black for sure. Um, the White Black, that being said, White Black is not terrible, especially since we have the Issa, uh, Issa, Issa, Issa with the Mentor of the Meek. It's not a bad combo. It's not a bad combo. But, let's see what our red has. Our red is kind of light, actually. So, this card is playable for sure, especially in a white-red aggro deck, or any kind of red aggro deck. Sure Strike is fine as well. Tormenting Voice is fine. Elemental is not really playable, in my opinion. You don't want to play a 2-2 two, two for 3 that sacks for 2 red mana. It's just not a thing that you want in a red deck, really. Uh, Spark Tongue Dragon is fine. Okanok. Ogre is fine. Hostile Minotaur is fine. A 3-3 three, three for 4 with haste is fine. Tectonic Rift is not really what you want to be doing. Um, unless, of course, you're all on the ground. If you're all on the ground and this is your win condition to just crack in for the rest of the damage and they can't block, as long as they are not don't have any flyers, that's fine. But it's kind of iffy. Another this, not really what you're looking for. Fiery Finish, also not really what you're looking for. Electrify is fine, but I don't think you would play a second Tormenting Voice. So again, here, our red is pretty light, right? Because we have, what, one, 
two, three, four. We have four creatures in red. Not really what you're looking for. Um, now, that being said, if you were go to go red-white with the heroic intervention or heroic reinforcements, it creates two one ones um, until end of turn. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and gain haste, right? Green is pretty heavy. We have a lot of green. Playable. This card, I don't know. I've seen people use it. I've seen it be used well. But at the same time, unless you have something very specific that you want to get back, it's kind of iffy. Now, that being said, um, if our Isareth died, like if we are playing green-black and our Isareth died and we needed to get it back, Recollect is a way to do it since we have no Macabre Waltzes to get it back from the graveyard. Root Snare is not really what we want. Titanic Growth is perfectly fine. Rapid Bite is also fine. Two Titanic Growths is probably fine. Wall of Vines is a fine sideboard card. Um, it's very good because it's a one-drop 3 with Reach. So it blocks all those early game flyers, um, which is pretty nice. It also blocks things like the Vashino Pyromancers and that kind of stuff pretty early game. So not bad. Giant Spider for sure. Basilisk for sure. Greenwood Sentinel for sure. Highland Game is not really... Um, another Wall of Vines. We have three Wall of Vines. It's not really what we're looking for. Rock's Oracle is fine. Oak, Oak and Form is fine. Gear Per Guide is good. We do definitely don't want a Root Snare. I don't think we want to run a third Titanic Growth. So I think like you would put these down like this. And then you look at this. You go one, two, three, four, five, six. Six creatures. And not that bad, but one... Two, three, four. Four of the creatures from green also trigger Mentor of the Meek. So our red is pretty light, but the Demanding Dragon is very good. Um, so that's something to consider. Um, the Mentor of the Meek is very good. Um, Liliana's Contract is an interesting one because it gains you four cards. And even though the second part will probably never happen, and by that I mean it will never happen in sealed pools for... Uh, M19, or Core 19, I should say, because there are not four different demons in this set, so you'll never get there. Um, it still draws you four cards for five, which is not bad. Yeah, you lose four life as well, but if you have the life gain, you're probably all right with that. I don't know. I think I would probably try to play... See, it's really tempting to go white-black because of the Mentor of the Meek Isareth combo. Um, and we have a decent amount of life gain. Um, and attrition decks are very fun in this format. Uh, the problem is that our life gain, most of our life gain is done via lifelink creatures, and so if they get removed or killed we have no way to bring them back so then we just lose right our life gain now rabid bite is our only removal spell in green other than a dagger back basilisk right now rabid bite is also interesting because it's like target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to target creature you don't control so you can but you can rabid bite your basilisk onto something else and it will kill that thing but not kill your basilisk because it's not it's not a fight it's you're dealing damage so rabid bite is very good um, so maybe you try to go like white, white, black, green, like maybe you splash the green because then you can also bring in the, uh, the poison tip archer, which is not bad. Right. And we do have, right. Like we do have a manolith and a dragon sword, which are both very good for fixing. Oh, we technically have the fountain of renewal too, which gives us a life every upkeep, which is actually very good with the Johnny's pride mate and the, uh, epicure of blood. Because then we also have the Tranquil Expanse, right? So we could definitely be looking at, like, white, green, black. Like, and maybe the green is just a splash, right? Like, it's possible that we play white, black, and just splash green. And we splash green literally for the Poison Tip Archer, the Dagger Back Basilisk, the Rabid Bite, and maybe the Recollect. Yeah. Or Recollect, or whatever you want to call it. Recollect, <laughs> Recollect, whatever. Um, because if you do it that way, then you only have, you have four green cards that are definitely worth splashing. The Basilisk is only kind of like an iffy, maybe. Like, maybe you don't splash the Basilisk, 
because it's a creature, but it's a death touch creature, um, and it also triggers Mentor of the Meek, which is why I'm thinking that you might want to play it, right? Because you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You got nine black cards, ten black cards, and you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten white cards. So you got, what was that, ten... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, ten black cards, eleven white cards. So that gives you space for two cards of a different color. So you could go uh, recollect and rabid bite and leave out the basilisk and then just splash those two green. But you probably want the poison tip archer as well. Yeah, you definitely want the poison tip archer. So. Oh, and you have to run these too. So we have to cut some cards if we're going to run it. Right? Like, you, it's possible that you cut the duress. And let's see, in white, it's possible that you cut, like, maybe the falcons. The falcons might be worth cutting. It really depends. Because the falcons are really our only uh, evasive creatures, I guess. Because we have no other... Oh, no, we have the Sky March. Oh, we're fine. We don't need the falcons. So you could take the Falcons out pretty easily, um, and then maybe you bring them in if there's a if they're like a pretty aggro deck. So then you've got what one two three four five six seven eight nine, ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen, nineteen twenty twenty one, twenty two twenty three. Right, and then if you're me, you probably run this. I would probably run this just because we have the life gain. We have the Epicure in here. That when we gain life, they lose life. And we have the a Johnny's Pride Mate, which just gets massive whenever we gain life. So um, I think that's fair. Because I would run that, and then I would run 17 land still, and it's the 41 card special. I know, 41 cards, but it's still probably what I would run. So there you go. There's a little build. I hope you guys enjoyed that M19 look. I know we tend to be, like, I, I think the last couple builds we've gone white-black most times. I don't know. I just I just feel like the blue is not strong enough to do anything. There's not enough in blue for it to be worthwhile. And then the red was the same way. The only option here, I think, in my opinion, was maybe go green-black or green-white instead of white-black with the splash of green. Just because green had some decent stuff in it as well. Like the Titanic Growths, the Sentinel is very good. The Gear Per Guide is also very good. Uh, he can definitely win you games, that's for sure. So, I mean, like, maybe you even splash the Gear Per Guide over something else. Even though it takes a green to activate its ability, but its target creature you control can't be blocked by creatures with power 2 or less, which is quite a number of creatures in this format. Um, and then your guys can't get chumped either, which is pretty nice. Um, but we didn't really end up with a lot of fat, though, right? Like, we didn't really end up with anything too massive, creature-wise. Like, our 5-5 five, five dragon is probably the biggest creature we have. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, everybody. I've been your host, Mr. Bevers. I hope you enjoyed this little unboxing and build. We did take a look at everything. We did reveal the, uh, the promo card, which was a sun cleanser. And what can I say? But I'll see you guys next time. And as always, may your pulls ever be better.